One way to locate a leak in your tire is to take a little bit of soapy water and just kind of put it over the spot that you think it might be leaking or just pour it on top of the wheel. And you can see that there's bubbles coming out of that so we know that that is the cause of the leak. So what we're gonna do is pull it out and then use this ream to make the hole bigger. Now that might seem counterintuitive, but that's so that we can put a plug on here, or I call them sticky worms, to plug the hole. So let's pull this out. Pretty stuck in there. And there we go. Now we got it out, and it looks like it was this little I don't even know, like a rusted nail or something. So now, use the ream to try to twist it in there. It's gonna be tricky to get it in there, but twisting it helps. And then pull it out. So just keep twisting it in here, and you'll hear air leaking quite a lot, and that's fine because it's going to pump it up the end. So pull it, push it in like this, and then just pull it out, like that. You can see it's really coming out now. While you're preparing this, it's a good idea just to keep this in the tire so it does reduce the airflow just a little bit. So we're going to, to save some money, cut this in half because you really don't need the whole sticky worm. Let's a little, just like that. So once you got the half, put this back in going to try threading the needle. This is pretty tricky. You might be able to just take this and kind of squeeze the tip of it to make it a little smaller to get it in there easier. They do make smaller plugs and this one was a little bigger so it was harder to thread through here. Now it's good to add a little bit of contact cement or rubber cement to help lubricate it and get it in there. Now, once we ream the hole, you should be able to take this and put it in the hole. It's gonna be pretty tight. You may have to twist it a little bit to get it in, but once you get it in the tire, pull it back out just a little bit. Just like that and clip it, get it as close to the tire as you can, and then clip it, and then there's the plug. Now with the air compressor, we're gonna fill it up to 35 PSI. And then check it periodically. Definitely needs a lot more. If you go over a little bit, like we did here, a way to disinflate the air is on the back, you might see this little knob, and that is for taking the air out of the tire. And right there, we're at 35. Now that we got the tire pumped up, let's splash some soapy water on to see if we got it. And that looks good. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time.